What advice would you give new scholars in the field of digital rhetoric and composition? Well, I would tell them. I, I know that um, many uh, new scholars are worried about tenure and promotion and the way digital works are currently valued in uh, departments of English, which tend to be a little bit more conservative and um, uh, sort of attached to the notion of the, the printed book. Um, but they're changing pretty rapidly. And so I would encourage uh, young scholars not to be bounded by the imaginations of the people who went before them uh, and not to be overly cautious in um, uh, in their approach to digital work. I would say play and invent and experiment and follow your passions in that work and if the work is good work it will be valued by the time you get to tenure and promotion and uh, the more you try and suss out what's going to be the value in six years when you go up for tenure and promotion, the less successful you're going to be. So do the work that you know to be good work uh, in the form that you know how to do it and in the environments, both digital and non-digital, uh, that attract you. And by the time you get to tenure and promotion, uh, that work will be valued. Now, it might not be valued at the same place you think it's going to be valued, but it will be valued if it's good work and you will find a place where you can continue to do that work and experimentation and make your own contributions. And I think uh, I would encourage them to be bold. I mean, it is um, when uh, Gail Haywisher and I were involved in doing work in digital environments, um, there were a limited number of people doing that work um, and it was a risk but if we had been too careful and not um, and not engaged in that work I think that would have been a loss to us uh, if we had decided that the profession was not keen on collaborative work for instance and we had done our individual work that would have been a loss to us so I think that you can't uh, predict where um, the values of the field necessarily are going to go, but you can predict where you're going to do your best work and how you're going to do your best work. So be bold and do it and hold yourself to a high standard in doing so. Here's what I would say to people who are starting the profession. The next 10 or 20 years are going to be so totally exciting, so open and full of possibility for uh, scholars. And um, there's so much to do and so many neat projects to take on that I would encourage people to dive in. Dive in and enjoy uh, what they find and follow their passions and make their contributions that they can be proud of when they turn around in 20 or 30 years and somebody asks them, you know, what did you do? Uh, I want them to be able to be proud of the projects they've taken on, they've contributed to, and they've uh, done within the profession. Thank you so much for this interview. O-H-I-O. That's great, Sam. Thank you.